have spectacle independence after cataract operation. And this really increases the demands on the preoperative assessment of the patient. This is for the rest of your life. This isn't like buying a pair of shoes where you can go out and get another pair. We really need to take our time and do this correctly. The iStar is a Swiss army knife of biometers and imaging devices, and so it can really highly recommend it in regular cases, but in these complicated cases where a device can show how good it is. There's sometimes a lot going on with the cornea, and not all astigmatism is regular and symmetrical. And just keratometry alone is usually not enough to plan surgery with confidence. I'm very much more confident since we have the iStar in recommending the patient a toric lens or not. They will understand the consequences of having a multifocal lens and, and our multifocal lens use has gone down dramatically and our population of happy patients has increased dramatically. We are very happy that the iStar is so small and has such a small footprint and is so versatile. You can attach the screen wherever you want it. By having the OCT images next to your biometry images, next to your topography images with the anterior and the posterior uh, images, this is all an absolute perfect overview thanks to that device. It is a fully automated data acquisition which we have with the iStar. A bilateral measurement usually just takes about 40 seconds. If it's not fully automated, you would have to have to do a lot of things. And if you have to do a lot of things, you can do a lot of mistakes. Well, the iStar is kind of a Swiss army knife. It's got wonderful swept source ability to measure the axial measurements. The keratometry, I think, is the best in the business, and it has the ability to generate these topographic maps that help us. You know, I mean, this is all the things that we as anterior segment surgeons need in order to make the right decisions. One of the features that are, for me, an absolute killer argument is the visual simulation and the Zernike aberrations that are really easily and accurately shown in this chart. If you show them the image simulation, now you're both on the same page because they know what to expect and there's open communication instead of you as the surgeon just saying, God, I, I hope they don't tell me something's wrong Let's, before I see the next patient. That's not a way to practice medicine. It should be open and happy and, a, and really a friendly experience for everybody.